If your Roblox is crashing, all you need to do, literally, it's all you need to do. You go into your Windows settings. And if your Mac, this is the same. It'll also work on any mobile device, actually. You go to Windows update or iPhone update, Samsung Android update. Maybe it's a console or your MacBook update. And you want to check for updates. You want to make sure you are on the latest version of Windows, at least for Roblox. Other games, I wouldn't recommend this. You don't always have to be on the latest version, but definitely for Roblox. And if you have a decent mid-tier PC and you have not yet got Windows 11, definitely upgrade. Now, the next thing you want to do is update our drivers. All you want to do is go online and search up NVIDIA driver, or maybe it's AMD driver. You'll have an app for that if you're on AMD. It should be called AMD Radeon settings. I'm on NVIDIA. I don't have that, but it's a similar process. You can find this website. You may have something called GeForce Experience. I know you can do it for that. I always, in my opinion, this to me works. So it really doesn't matter how you do so, but yeah, update your drivers in here. I'll try and put the link down below, but it's this URL. You're going to need to know what graphics card you have. I know it sounds daunting, but if you go into your task manager, super, super simple performance. And if I go to GPU, it's going to say, so I'm on the NVIDIA GPU. GeForce RTX 3070. So all I need to do is go GeForce. Most of you will be on GeForce. Or I can actually just type in. There we go. 3070. And it depends. I'm not on a laptop. You might be. You may be on Linux. You might be on Windows 10. I'm on Windows 11. We've already established that. So right here, Windows 11. It's now going to search for the latest driver. And if you go to game ready drivers, the top one right here is going to be the latest driver. Just press view. And within minutes, you're good to go. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to Roblox Player. We want to press open file uh, location. And now you want to right click this, press open file location again. And you're going to find this Roblox Player beta.exe. Right click that go to properties under compatibility you want to enable the disable for screen optimization so tick this and run this program as administrator tick both of them press apply press okay all right listen up guys you know how much i've spent on my roblox account and i know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges we've all had our fair share of horror stories but i finally found the site i can trust it's called eldorado eldorado has completely changed the game for me every transaction on here is secure so there's zero stress about being scammed plus they have something called Eldorado trade show protection which means they've got your back every step of the way i know we all want the best currency rates and with Eldorado, i get my game currency fast like in just a few minutes fast they seriously have some of the lowest prices i've seen and i'm saving a ton compared to other places and when it comes to in-game cosmetics same deal they've got everything you need to deck out your locker and i'm not the only one talking about this check out these trust pilot reviews thousands of gamers just like me are giving Eldorado top marks it's legit the support team online 24 7 if you ever need help it could be 3 a.m they're ready to answer any questions and i've got a money back guarantee so it's pretty much risk-free either you get your order or you get your money back simple as that so if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics check out aldorado.gg with a link in the description and you can use code fetch at checkout for an exclusive discount only for you guys and at this point if you're still running into issues you actually just need to optimize your game and last but not least i recommend doing a quick cleanup on your system so you can type in disk cleanup right here or just click this press okay select uh whatever you should do this on both your drives to be honest press okay it's just going to clean up your disks right here i recommend you copy these settings just press okay it takes two seconds you can also type in run type in percent 10 percent press okay just to double check all of these temporary files are gone yes they're called temporary for a reason you do not need them it's just a lot of bloat on your system and it's taking up storage just press control a select them all delete or you can just go like this select every single one just get them out of here delete them you can also find your recycling bin right here. This is my recycling bin. Right click that, press empty recycling bin. You may have it on your desktop. Maybe you can search it in here, but yeah, empty that. And if you go into our settings, go to apps and installed apps, delete anything you don't need. Most of the time your game's crashing because you have way too much. You can also go into your task manager, actually right here, actually. We don't even need to go in our task manager, going back, go to startup. Also disable anything in here, which you don't need. These run in the background. They use up processor resources. They use up your GPU driver and they cause your game to crash. You want as little friction as possible. And if you're still running into issues at this point, you just generally need to optimize your game. That is where the issue is coming in. The quickest way to the quickest way to do this is fast flags. Now, what they are is basically just your game config on the back end, and it essentially optimizes your whole game. I have, I think, the best fast flags. I made so many videos on them. They work for thousands of people. What I'm going to do is give you a link to download them in my Discord server. You don't have to join my Discord server. I'll try and give an alternative link, but it's easy just to drop them in here, and you can leave the server afterwards. I don't care about getting members, honestly. But yeah, download them. They're going to be in the announcements channel. You'll find them here. Once downloaded and extracted, you're going to find two folders. Now, if you guys play Roblox Rivals, you're going to want to get these client settings. And if you play any other games, you're going to want to have these client settings. Now, very simple. You just want to copy and paste them. You now want to find your client settings folder for Roblox. 
box. For most of you, this will be in your local C drive. So if you press this PC, you can go into your C drive. It will even be in program files or it's going to be in program files x86. You're going to be looking for a folder called Roblox. It could also actually just be right here in your C drive. But for the most part, in the program files right here, Roblox. Now in that folder, you're going to go to version. It should be the top one. This will be the latest version of Roblox. Client settings. And right here, you want to basically replace this one. This is the native default fast flags if you never change them. You're going to right click, press paste and replace the file in destination. This is going to give you the best fast flags for Roblox. Now, other than that, there are obviously more optimizations you can do to your game. I have plenty of videos on them showing you launches like Blockstrap, Voidstrap, Plexity, and all the settings you can change in there. Also, just some settings you can actually do within Roblox itself. I also suggest everyone optimizes Windows generally because it doesn't just benefit, you know, Roblox. It benefits every game. I also recommend everyone optimizes their NVIDIA control panel. This is super important. It literally takes like five minutes to do both of these things. And I've got videos on all of them. So definitely go and check them out if you want to take your gaming experience just a little further.